Namaste. Hello. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about my experience of yoga teacher training at World Peace Yoga School. So, I was initially supposed to go to um, India last year to do my teacher training. That was last March, but then due to COVID, I wasn't able to go. Um, I kept like just hoping that I would be able to go, but obviously the pandemic um, lasted a lot longer than what everyone anticipated. So it got to January this year and I kind of thought to myself, I want to, I don't want to wait any longer. I'm not too sure when I'm going to be able to travel. So I booked um, the yoga retreat on bookyogaretreats.com. So they're really good for booking any kind of retreats, teacher training, meditation and um, retreats. And they have everything you can imagine really. So I had to look, um, I really wanted to do it for school in India. Um, so I found World Peace Yoga School. I had to look at the curriculum and what they were offering. And I thought the course looked really good. So that was starting on the 2nd of February this 2021. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, the live lessons. So we had two hours of live lessons a day with the Besh, which were brilliant. Um, so it was an hour and a half of yoga practice and then 30 minutes of alignment where I was able to go through different postures and he'd talk us through the correct way of entering the posture, how to like, move more deeply into it, props to use, things like that. So that was really good. We was able to ask questions and even though it wasn't in person, it still felt like quite intimate. It still felt like um, it was very interactive still. Um, like he still was able to observe each of us to make sure that we were doing things correctly and we could ask questions. And at first I was kind of a little bit put off by doing it online just because I'd never done any fitness classes online before. Um, I'd always kind of just gone to like... I don't know, a class in person, which I love because I love to be around people and I love the whole atmosphere. But I must say, I'm really, really thankful that I did choose this course and that I did decide to do it online. Um, I just didn't want to wait any longer because I wasn't too sure how long I was gonna, it was going to take um, with lockdowns all over the country and all over the world. So I just took the plunge and I just thought to myself, actually, no, I'm going to do it. And I'm really, really grateful that I did. Um, it still had that kind of like personal experience. And we have WhatsApp groups with um, all of the people in the class. And um, we keep in touch. Every Tuesday we've been doing our own um classes together where people will either share their experiences with like pranayama yoga nidra yoga and just anything about the course that we want to talk about so it's really got like a really nice community feel and i feel as though even though we haven't met each other in person i feel like i've made really good connections with like the yoga teachers and the people that are doing the course as well so I know that we all like started this yoga journey together and how we're going to be able to kind of like encourage each other, help each other. And just it's just really nice to meet people that are like like minded as you. Um, yeah, so the live classes were brilliant. And then we had an hour or longer philosophy class in the afternoon. Um, where we'll be touching on lots of different subjects um, on the universe, the purpose of life, karma, um, pain, happiness, um, attachments, anything you can imagine. And then um, we was also able to ask questions. Um, so Yogi Vishnu is very... Um, very good at like answering any questions that we had um, and then we had um, videos to watch from the portal so it was a vast array of subjects so 
again, there was philosophy, there was pranayama, there was meditation, there was hatha yoga, there was alignment, there was anatomy. Um, yeah, so there was lots of different subjects um, with different with um, videos under each heading. Um, I feel like the whole journey has just been great for me. Um, I've always been into yoga anyway, and I've done at least one retreat a year for the last four or five years. Um, and I've always loved yoga. Um, I've been doing it since, I think my mum bought me my first yoga mat when I was like 14. I was into gymnastics when I was younger, so I think I already had the basics um, knowledge of yoga. And I don't know, like I've always kind of done it on and off as a teenager and then probably five years ago or six years ago I started it again um properly but I just think it's just been like a journey for me I just think um I've always been curious about the world and like our purpose on this planet um I'm fascinated with the human mind and the mind-body connection and energy um, which all relates to yoga, and I just feel like I'm like my no my knowledge has kept improving year by year, which has just helped me have different views of the world um, and understand like myself a bit better. So I feel like really quite happy and content in myself. I think yoga just brings like a peace to me. It kind of makes me get out of my head because I can be a little bit too involved with my thoughts sometimes and which can be negative as well so it allows me to get out of my head and just focus completely in what I'm doing in that present moment and I do realise now that that is the only time that is really important to us human beings because when you're in that present moment you're fully concentrating on what you're doing and when you're concentrating, you're not ruminating about the past or things that you've done before that you might not be happy about or um, or worried about the future and what's going to happen with your life. Like you're just fully engrossed in the moment and that's like a meditative state as well. So with meditation, I've always kind of, I, I love meditating. Um, I've only ever really done guided ones in the morning for like 10 minutes um, but it really helps me just to kind of like just slow down my mind and just um, sort of notice my thoughts but then not think too much into them and it gets me ready for the day so I think it's all really intertwined like happiness can only really be felt in the moment you just need to be more present in your daily life in your body and then you can control your mind a bit more um, so yeah, I just feel like it's really helped me and I think it will help me going forward and I realised that it's um, it's not just like you're continuously learning. Um, it's not like you've done this course and then that's it, you know everything because there's so much more to learn um, about yourself and other people and how we can make the world a better place. Um, and just how to slow down. I think this time in life, um, we're so consumed by our phones, technology, social media, and it could, well, I know for me, it can be really hard to slow down. I constantly feel as though I have to be achieving or doing something or on the go, and it's not healthy to be like that. So I think that it's enabled me to realise, like, it's important to take time for you. It's if you want to do a yoga class or if you want to do meditation, then self-care is a priority. Um, like you need to be able to look after yourself to function properly. And it says that we're like, like the external world is a mirror of our nervous system. So if we're really like nervous, anxious, frantic, um, then our external world and our experiences might mirror that. So if we can sort of like do meditation, bring about yoga in our daily life, like practicing being kind to people and non-violence and 
like helping out humanity um and then kind of i think that we will be able to kind of find a better us and better people all over the world um like so many people are just consumed with themselves and like their own thoughts and feelings but we need to kind of like just become better people and it's not it's just going to be one of them processes that takes a long time um but with like yoga not just practicing the, the asanas but by including it in your daily life then i do think it will help you um i thought it was really interesting about the whole anatomy so i'd like learning about the nervous system the brain um also like self-study just reading the books that they recommended and actually seeing what muscle groups are working in each posture um what joints are used um ayurveda i'm really really fascinated with anyway so i've been on two um two yoga retreats before which have incorporated ayurveda so i know that my dosha type is fata pitta but um, I've had treatment in the past for pitta, um, too much fire in my body. So even just by knowing that, I kind of know like what yoga moves are good for me, what asanas are good um, to be able to bring clarity and relax my nervous system and cool down my body. Um, meditation's been great just by learning about it again and just realising that you don't have to be in a meditative position to be doing meditation meditation can be anything from cooking exercising painting um just being fully engrossed in something sewing doing a puzzle that can be your type of meditation so it, it's important to just include things like that into our daily routine and lifestyle um just just for more contentment really um and it was also interesting about knowing like the truth of life which is pure consciousness um which does make complete sense so the only time that is important is here and now being in the moment um just connecting with the earth um not living just remembering about your energy um, the energy that you and your thoughts um knowing that like from past research i know that um our brain doesn't know the difference between a thought something that we're dreaming or whether something's happening in real life so we need to just be really careful that we are conscious with what we're thinking because our brain if we're constantly thinking about something negative that upsets us and brings on this emotion then we're going to be in a really state, bad state of mind and we're going to keep producing that cortisol, adrenaline, all these chemicals that are not necessarily good for us if we're producing them all the time. So it's just being a bit more conscious about your thoughts and just how like um, time's an illusion, um, what we see is based and how we think is based on our own perceptions of our past basically. So if we've had a particular incident in the past, then something in the present moment, we might relate it to the past. Um, so everyone's projection, like so that's why people have a lot of different point of views because they can't relate to it in the same way as you can because they haven't experienced that. Um, so yeah, I found, overall, I found the course really, really beneficial. Um, I've enjoyed it. The teachers have been brilliant. The online videos were really, really good. Detailed, descriptive. Um, they gave us assignments, so we was able to kind of like ensure that we was properly taking it in. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really, really happy, grateful. I feel like I've learned a lot in myself. I feel a lot more calmer. I'm just in tune with my body and mind. Um, yeah, and I can't wait to spread yoga to the world, um, to get other people involved in it. I'm really into 
just everything yoga in life meditation um helping others so i really hope this is like the start of a bigger journey for me thank you so much again and i would definitely recommend world peace yoga school thank you namaste